we want to evaluate tangent of inverse sine of negative 12 thirteenths. Looking at the inner inverse trig expression, inverse sine of negative 12 thirteenths returns an angle, let's call it theta, that has a sine function value of negative 12 thirteenths. And the output or range for arc sine or inverse sine is on the closed interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. Which means theta must be in quadrant one or quadrant four. But since our tangent function value is negative, the terminal side of angle theta must be in quadrant four. So another way to express this would be to say that sine theta must equal negative 12 thirteenths. And then to evaluate this expression, we need to determine tangent theta. So we're gonna go ahead and model angle theta with the reference triangle. And then once we have the reference triangle, we can determine the tangent of angle theta. So we'll sketch a reference triangle in quadrant four. Might look something like this. So here's our angle theta. We can label the opposite side negative 12 and the hypotenuse 13. Remember the hypotenuse is always positive and the legs can be positive or negative. So now using the Pythagorean theorem, we can determine the length of this leg here. This is a 5, 12, 13 right triangle. But just in case we didn't know that, we can go ahead and label this x and then using the Pythagorean theorem, we know that x squared plus negative 12 squared must equal 13 squared. So we'd have x squared plus 144 equals 169. So x squared is equal to 25. And so x is equal to plus or minus five. But since we're in the fourth quadrant, the x coordinate would be positive. So this would be positive five. So now that we've modeled angle theta, we want to determine the tangent of angle theta to evaluate this expression. And that would be the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the length of the adjacent side, or negative 12 fifths. So this expression simplifies to negative 12 fifths. I hope you found this helpful.